I want to talk about reductions now. So I'm going to highlight kind of three ways to reduce uh, different nitrogen containing compounds, azides, nitriles, and imines, and how to turn those into amines. So one of the classic things to do here is you have this benzyl bromide, and we're going to do an SN2 with this azide, which is a nucleophile, NaN3. Now, be careful with this because what people invariably forget is the actual Lewis dot structure of an azide. It's actually this, right? All right, nitrogen wants to have how many bonds? Three. If it has two bonds, it has a negative charge. If it has four bonds, it has a plus charge, if it has a full octet. So all this, there's full octets here, but it's kind of weird looking, a little different than you're used to seeing maybe. But this can be a nucleophile and do an SN2 reaction. So now I've redrawn this out, right, this azide out. So what we're going to do is we want to turn this azide actually into the amine. Right? Because I can't do an SN2 with NH3. NH3 is a gas. And I can't do like an SN2 with like an NH3, right? I could go to OH, which is a solid. So this is a way to get to this kind of a mean. And so the way we're going to do that is with lithium aluminum hydride. We're going to use our really strong reducing agents, right? How many reducing agents? We only know. We know dibol. Dibol takes esters to aldehydes. We know sodium borohydride, which is not that reactive. And then we know lithium aluminum hydride, which is really reactive. So I'm just going to draw it as H minus, but we realize it's lithium aluminum hydride, right? The, the strong one, the reactive one. So where's it going to react at? So H minus is going to react with A. Two ways to think about this. B already has a full octet. Right? And just because B has a plus charge doesn't mean it's actually electron deficient. Right? Also, if you knew what the product was, this nitrogen, presumably the one attached to the carbon, is A. What does this nitrogen A have? It has hydrogens on it. Start adding hydrogens to that right now. Right? Bonds broken, bonds form. So it adds in, right? It adds up, it kicks up. So similar to what a pro in acidic conditions was something added into a, ke a, car a ketone that's protonated, right? Looks very similar. So it adds in. So now we got a NH. We got this. Have I balanced my charge? What's the overall charge here? At a plus, a minus, and a minus. Overall is a minus, right? So I mean, I've balanced my charge. Good. Now I need to start working, right? It's like a tetrahedral intermediate. right? If you kind of think about this, this is like a tetrahedral intermediate. It went from sp2 to sp3. Do I have any good leaving groups? Well, not really. right? What if these electrons, kind of this last step, left. So then we lost N2. And now we have this, NH, with a minus charge, N2 gas. And then this final step will be protonation, right? That'd be step two always with lithium aluminum hydride. You had step one, H minus, and then step two, you protonate. And so that'd be the last step, and we protonate the amine, and we've lost N2. So we've gone from an azide, an N3, we've lost N2 gas, H minus is reacted with the nitrogen in the interior. Funky kind of step is this one where the lone pairs come down, right? But again, you have a negative charge there. Start electron, start your arrows at a negative charge, right? You know you need to break this nitrogen nitrogen bond, right? This helps you do that. Get a negative charge there. That can be protonated. That gets your second hydrogen on the amine. So the other two types of reductions that are possible. Uh, so we did the A side, which I want to kind of know the mechanism for. And these ones are a little more, you know, not as complicated. Um, the nitrile one, you can start to do it. I'm not going to worry about you knowing the mechanism, but again, H minus would obviously go to the carbon, right? And eventually, you keep adding H minus until you get to a primary amine again. So this was carbon one, this is carbon one, right? And the nitrogen gets protein. The amine we've done, again, you add, you know, H minus goes in, does an addition, you make a Tetrahedral intermediate. You ask yourselves, do I have any good leaving groups? You do not. Last step is 
protonation. So that gets you the nitrogen, this. So that's another way to reduce an imine into an amine. So don't need to know this mechanism, but this one you, could, you can, it's just similar to what you do with a ketone or an aldehyde. So you should know this one. So three ways to reduce nitrogen, reduce things into amines. The azide, N3, nitrile, CN, citral bond N, and then imines. You can turn those into amines. So three ways to make amines from reduction methods.